Okay, we're trying to prove this trigonometric identity that regardless of the values of alpha and beta, the tangent of alpha plus the tangent of beta is always equal to the sine of alpha plus beta over the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta. And we'll be using these two trigonometric identities. Before we do that, let's just go to Desmos and convince ourselves that this is always true. Here's values for alpha and beta in radian mode. And here's the two expressions we're trying to show are equal. And that doesn't matter the values for alpha and beta. These expressions always end up having the same value. OK, so how do we show that? Well, when you're proving an identity, you work down one side only. And instead of using an equal sign, some textbooks use that symbol to mean identical to for all values. So the sine of alpha plus beta, we're going to use this trigonometric identity. The sine for the sum of two angles can be rewritten as the sine of the first angle, which is alpha cosine of the second angle, which is beta, plus, see both pluses are on top, cosine of the first angle, times the sine of the second angle, beta. And that's still over cosine alpha, cosine beta. Now, we can rewrite this as two separate fractions, sine of alpha, cosine beta, over cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus cosine alpha, sine beta, over cosine alpha, cosine beta. And that's just arithmetic. Okay, but for this first fraction, these cosine betas cancel out. For the second fraction, these cosine alphas cancel out. And now we can use this identity to say that the sine over the cosine of an angle is equal to the tangent of that angle. So sine alpha over cosine alpha is the tangent of alpha plus sine of beta over cosine beta is tangent beta. And at that point, we can say QED. We're done proving the identity. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.